Let's drop down a pig head here. Call this one distance along geo. Dive in there, zoom out a bit here and set my pig head to be easy. Add a subdivider to this, subdivide it two times and drop down the distance along geometry. And let's just set a start point with the point number one. We can see we are getting this weird gradient here. Let's drop down a visualizer. Set this one to visualize dist, the attribute that we just calculated with the distance along geometry. And you can see we're getting from zero at point, I think that's point one, let me just check. So yeah, point one is this one up here at the ear. So what the distance along geometry calculates is an approximation to what's called the geodesic distance. So the distance that each point of the mesh has towards our start point, but measured along the way it takes on that grid to get there. So not the straight line between, for example, say this point on the nose and this point on the ear, but all the way it takes from this point to get there with the shortest path. Again, let's visualize this a bit differently as a ramped attribute using min and max values. And let's roll this thing so we can see we are getting ISO contours here of points that are the same distance away from this point at the ear here. And although this might not look like much, it's really useful for setups, for example, that want to find a given target on a geometry. Like if you have particles moving across a geometry, this is a really, really neat utility node. So yeah, distance along geometry.